are the most important couple in the town of Dillon, Texas. High school football, co football coach Eric Taylor and his wife Tammy, also the school's guidance counselor. They hold the fate of the town in their hands. Everybody in Dillon lives and dies really? for football. And on NBC's riveting drama Friday Night Lights, you get to see the mix of heat and heartbreak unfold every single week. Kyle Chandler and Connie Britton play the Taylors. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. You guys were just kind of going at it. Before this, the interview even started, you know, it's the only bickering thing know. like a married it's, couple. It's 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 like that every day. When every we're day. And it's the moments, the moments when we're not together are dear. Everybody and talks about your chemistry on the show, and everybody who works on the show talks about the fact that you're pretty much like that when you're off camera as well. I yeah, we're so, lucky. I was so lucky. <laughs> lucky, so lucky. Come to New York and share Valentine's Day. No, with I'm thrilled. By the way, Connie. you're stuck here for Valentine's Day because your flight's not leaving for Texas I this know. morning. It's even better. I, we should break it to the production right now. It's yeah, supposed to work tomorrow. You played the coach's wife in the movie. Yes. All right? A and then I know you said to Peter Berg, the director, when the TV show came up, you said, look, if this is all about teenage angst, and it's all about football, count me out. Yeah. So how did you c get convinced that it wasn't going to be that? Pete Berg is, first of all, the most convincing guy on the planet, and he left me a message, and he said, listen, this is going to be a great character, and it's going to be complex, and it's going to be, you know, sexy and strong and and weird, and all these things. You know, and he made it out like it was going to be a really interesting and full, fully fleshed out female character, and, and it let really you down. is. And no, he hasn't let me down, and that's that's been amazing. I mean, it's been an amazing gift. Kyle, tell me about the coach, a guy who, who drives himself using a pretty strong moral compass, what else do we need to know about him? Well, that's the fun about playing him because uh, one of the biggest questions for for the coach is what's more important is it is it his family is it his relationship with his wife with his daughter is winning more important are the the, the players more important and just all the dilemmas that go along. And with he, that. by the way, doesn't answer those questions necessarily in the same way the people in Dillon, Texas, would answer those. There's questions. no there's no answer to them really, and, and the way the show is set up, uh, it's always a it's always a give and a take between all those different issues. Uh, and it, 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 it works throughout all the different characters in the show, so it gives it a great connection where the that's where the, 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 the coach and the wife sort of are the hub, if you will, of the uh, the wheel. You guys, I'm sure, are sick of hearing this, but this is not a football show. And I think you even made the comment, football kind of centers the program much in the same way that the operating room focuses ER or that's the Korean War yeah. focused MASH. Yeah. But, but the show deals with everything that happens in a small town and the complexities of lives and, and interactions. Tonight, the show takes on racism after a, an assistant coach makes a comment that some people feel was inappropriate. Let's take a little look at a clip from tonight's show. And as a guidance counselor, i got to say that that, to me, is a fireable offense, what he said. All right, well, let me talk to my wife. Let me talk to the person who cares about me and cares about the team and also has to understand the relevance and the importance to our future of us winning the regional. There's nothing more clear to me that your team is way more important to you than Mac McGill. Is there anyone else I can talk to? I think the fact that the issues are tackled head on is one of the things that makes the show interesting. Visually, though, it's also interesting. The, the, the director uses a technique here that's very unusual compared to other shows. Handheld cameras, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of rehearsing of where you all are going to be there's before no the rehearsing. scene is shot. So how does that affect the energy when you're shooting a scene? Well, we, you know, for us, it, it just it just makes us so free. And so we, we love to be able to shoot that way because we start and everything is everything has a spontaneity to it because we haven't rehearsed it. We don't have marks. We never know where we're going to Do you rehearse the lines? No. We rehearse, well, you know, we'll learn the lines ourselves beforehand. But we never, we when we when those cameras start rolling, they're rolling and we're saying it for the first time. The idea is that the, the, almost the rules, if you will, that were set up uh, by, by Pete, Pete Berg, who's one of the greatest salesmen, you ever met, yes. but he really follows through with what he says, <laughs> is that you come with knowing your character and knowing your lines 110% and be prepared to get rid of it and rework scenes and do this. So it's just like coming on the show, if you will. The writers give us the, the perfect setup to go in with, and then you don't really know what's going to happen with you. The other you go try something, and, and, if, and it's exciting. And if it doesn't work, he'll tell you it didn't work, but otherwise try something new. Right. It's, it's, like rehearse, it's like the very first rehearsal of going in and doing a play, and that's the most exciting part of doing a play. You know, it's, it's, it's full of energy. And that's why I think people really love to watch it, because every moment feels like a real moment. It feels alive, and that's, that's what you want to see. Well, we want to, first of all, we hope you have a nice Valentine's Day in your city, <laughs> and we hope to see you guys back for a second full season. Oh, that would be yeah. great for us Thank here on you. NBC. Thank you. would be great for nice us. Nice to see you guys. Nice. Nice. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks very yeah. much. Appreciate it. Happy you back. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Oh, happy birthday to my daughter yesterday. <gasps> Hey, lucky you got that in. Thanks. And you can catch Friday Night Lights tonight at 8, 7 Central Time right here on NBC.